Yep, we've all got them, we love them, we rely on them maybe a bit too much, but this is my trusted daily guitar tuner, the TC Electronics Polytune. Yours may look different, but we all run into the same problem. We go to pick this up one day and we realize, dead battery. Well, what are you going to do? Well, you need to learn how to tune your guitar by ear. I have three quick and amazing ways of tuning your guitar without a guitar tuner, and it's arguably better for you in the long run. Let's get going. Hello everybody, Guitar Guru Jeff here, where my goal is to help you learn the guitar funner and faster and also give you the lessons that I wish I would have had at your playing level. Let's get right at tuning method number one. So the very first tuning method I want to teach you is one of the first ones that most students learn when we learn to tune by ear. We're going to be using what's called the fifth fret to open string tuning method. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the fifth fret of the sixth string. This is the A note. We already know that the fifth string is supposed to be the note A. So while holding this note down, what you want to do is play the open fifth string. Now what we're listening for is to hear if the notes are the same, right? This takes time to develop this. Be patient with yourself. But while you're holding this down, and letting them ring, you're going to reach over, find that fifth string, turn that tuning key away from you to raise it, and towards you to lower it. We're going to repeat this process. We're going to go to the fifth fret of this fifth string. That's a D note. We're going to compare that with the open fourth string. We're going to reach over, find that fourth string, and we're going to turn it away from you to raise it and towards you to lower it. Moving along, we have the fifth fret of the fourth string. This is the G note going to reach under, grab that third string, turn it away from you to raise it and towards you to lower it. Once again, it's really important that you let these notes ring as you're doing this. Otherwise, if you stop, we don't know how far we're tuning it. All right, then we're going to go to the fourth fret of the third string. We're going to play that note. That's a B note. Compare it to the open second string. All right, reaching over while they're ringing, you're going to turn it away from you to raise it and towards you to lower it. Moving back up to the fifth fret, we're going to play this note at the fifth fret. It's an E note. We're going to compare that with the open first string. Once again, reaching under and over, we're going to turn it away from us to raise it and towards us to lower it. Alright, so moving along, this is the harmonic to fret tuning method. And what we're going to do here is we're going to lightly, with using the fleshy part of our finger right here, we're going to lightly touch the string, not press, but right at the 12th metal part, picking close to the bridge to produce a harmonic. And then we're going to reach over to the 5th string, 7th fret, and while this note is ringing, we're going to play that 7th fret. Once again, we're going to reach over. If the fifth string is out of tune, we're going to turn this away from us to raise it and towards us to lower it. Moving along, we're going to go to the 12th fret of the fifth string, play that note as a harmonic, go to the seventh fret of the fourth string. We're going to reach over to the fourth string, turn this tuning key away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. Remember to keep these ringing and go slow. Okay, now we're going to go to the harmonic at the 12th fret here of the 4th string. We're going to compare that to the 7th fret of the 3rd string. By the way, what note is this? It's a D note, right? We're going to reach under, grab that 3rd string, and turn it away from us to raise it and towards us to lower it. Moving along, 3rd string, you're going to play that 12th fret, and then now it's going to change. You're going to play the 8th fret. So 12th fret, harmonic, 3rd string to 8th fret, 2nd string. Reaching under while they're ringing, we're going to turn this away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. Moving along, we're going to go back to the 12th fret of the 2nd string. Play the harmonic there. All right? That's a B note. And we're going to play the 7th fret of the 1st string. Reaching over, we're going to turn this away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. All right, so our last third and final way of tuning the guitar by ear is to use a harmonic to harmonic. Now, this can be a bit tricky because we're having to play harmonics for both of the notes that we're tuning, right? So we're going to hold down, or we're not really going to hold anything down. We're just going to barely press the fifth metal part right here of the sixth string. We're going to play that note, which is actually an E note. And we're going to play the seventh fret of the fifth string. Now we're going to reach over to the fifth string and we're going to turn this away from us to raise it or towards you to lower it. Moving along, we're going to go to the fifth fret 
of the fifth string. That's an A note, by the way. We're going to play this A note right here. Fifth fret harmonic to seventh fret harmonic, fourth string. Reaching over, we're going to turn and grab the tuning key here, the fourth string tuning key, and turn it away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. Moving right along, this is a, this is a D note right here. We're going to play the harmonic at the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then you're going to play the harmonic at the seventh fret of the third string. Reaching under, we're going to turn the tuning peg, the third string tuning peg, away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. Now here's the tricky part. You ready? we got to go to the fourth fret on this one. You're going to want to play a harmonic at the fourth fret. That's really tricky. Remember to use the very tip of your finger, I should say the fleshy part of your finger, and right over the metal part and press close right over the metal part and pick right over the bridge. Playing that note. That's actually a B note. And we're going to play the 5th fret. So it's 4th fret, 3rd string to 5th fret, 3rd string for that B note. Reaching under, we're going to turn this away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. Alright, now we're going to resume back to the 5th fret of the 2nd string. We're going to play this note, right? That is also a B note, by the way. And then we're going to play the 7th fret of the 1st string. So 5th fret, 2nd string, 7th fret, 1st string. Reaching under, we're going to turn the 1st string, the 1st tuning peg, away from us to raise it or towards us to lower it. All right, and that's it. You've learned three ways to tune your guitar without that guitar tune. Now remember, this does take time and practice. It can be a little bit challenging, but I recommend that you memorize these things and learn them because there will be a time when your guitar tuner battery dies or you're in a situation where you just don't have a guitar tuner. Actually, what I recommend that you do is you take your guitar tuner and you tune the six string first. Tune your guitar tuner to the six string, turn it off, Put it away and practice your relative tuning methods, all three methods we just learned, and practice to get those down without using the tuner for every single string. Thank you for watching today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I would like to encourage you to also sign up for my monthly newsletter on my website. You can see the link below. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Have a wonderful day.